Hey guys, what is up? Welcome to my channel. For today's video, I'm going to be trying out some new high-end and luxury makeup. The majority of the makeup I'm trying today is new to the market, but there are a few items that are just new to me. Notable products that you will see in today's video, I'm testing out the Jaclyn Cosmetics new summer collection. I'm also testing out the Dior Cruise eyeshadow palette. We have the Natasha Denona eyeliner. We also have the Sonia G Lotus brushes that are going to be featured in here. So lots of good new stuff. So if you want to see me play with some new makeup and just keep watching. I want to thank Lily Silk for sponsoring this portion of today's video. I've been enjoying so many of the products that they offer. You guys have been telling me to switch to Silk products for a while and finally did it and I'm obsessed. So if you don't know Lily Silk, that's where you can find all kinds of silk items such as bedding, pajamas, blouses, pillowcases, and a lot more. I didn't even know they offered silk in this number of items. Items. Mulberry Silk has a lot of beauty benefits to skin and hair. Now that I've tried it firsthand, I can stand by the fact that Silk is awesome. <laughs> it's absorptive of moisture and breathable, sleep promoting, anti-aging, and just super soft and smooth. My husband has been very happy with our <laughs> silk pillowcases here. So what's awesome about a silk pillowcase, and we have the white ones here, is that it helps prevent those sleep wrinkles because it's so smooth. And it also retains moisture of the skin because for a regular cotton pillowcase that's going to absorb your skincare products, with this, it stays right on your skin and you stay nice and hydrated. For me, what's really important is you guys know I have very frizzy hair and the cotton just makes my hair staticky. It makes my hair all weird. This really does help with the frizziness of my hair and it also reduces breakage as well. And what my husband loves the most about these is that they are very cooling. I don't know, we produce so much heat <laughs> between us. This really has helped every time we lay our heads on it. It's just so nice and cool. But they also have a lot of other amazing products. So first of all, I'm wearing, and they have different types of blouses and tops and pajamas. I have this camisole in quicksand pink. It is so pretty. I love this color. As you can see, I like this kind of pink. So that's what I'm wearing for today. It's super cute with jeans. Something that's also been a game changer for me are these silk scrunchies. Previously, I was using velvet scrunchies and I noticed every time I pulled the scrunchie out of my hair, my hair would come along with it and it would like fall out. With these, I'm never going back to anything other than silk hair ties and scrunchies because they just slide off my hair. They don't pull any of my hair along with it. And they have a lot of different colors and different sizes. I've been using the small one lately, but they have like basically different levels leading up to the biggest ones. So I've just been loving how smooth these pull off of my hair. And then this one, <laughs> I was not expecting to love so much, but they have a silk bra right? And it is probably my favorite bra of all time. The comfiest bra. And I know that sounds very dramatic, but I'm not exaggerating. So it looks like this. I'm not going to show you it on me. <laughs> But there's no wire and it literally feels like you're wearing nothing. It doesn't cut into you in any way. As you can see, it has like this laser cut to it. If you've ever tried the laser cut underwear, you know how those feel like nothing. This feels like nothing. And the pads in here are really, really nice because they, they give you a nice shape, but it feels like you're wearing nothing. This is probably my favorite bra just to wear for every day under t-shirts. So I really, really recommend this. But they have all different kinds of silk products for you to try out. If you are interested in trying anything from Lily Silk, I do have a discount code. The code MORGAN15 will get you 15% off of everything at checkout. So again, thank you Lily Silk for sponsoring this portion of today's video. Let's get on to the video. I'm gonna use my Lily Silk scrunchie. I'm just gonna pull my hair out of my face and let's 
let's get up close and personal. All right, skin is prepped, hydrated, sunscreened. So I actually have a luxury foundation that has been sitting in my collection untried before. And I've always wanted to try this foundation. So I thought this was the perfect video to bring it in. There hasn't been any new luxury foundations that have come out that have at least caught my eye. So I'm gonna try out the Giorgio Armani Neo Nude True to Skin Natural Glow Foundation. I have mine in the shade number five. Always wanted to try this. Hope it's the right color. It's looking a little bit light. But that's okay, we will make it work. If it is a bit light, yeah, we can definitely make this work. So this is not a new foundation. However, it's been one that I've always wanted to try because I love Armani foundations. I think they do a really nice job. Of course, they have the classic luminous silk foundation. I've always wanted to try their power fabric foundation, but this is one that's caught my eye. It just sounded like something that I would really like for every day. You know, I can just never get the color right. Either way too dark or way too light, which I don't have a problem with because I mix my foundations all the time. But when it comes to testing a product out, especially in the summer, because I tan pretty easily and quickly, your girl can never get it right. I put a little bit more on for some extra coverage because you can definitely see my skin through this. So it is a more natural foundation. Okay, I turned my lights down. I feel like it was a bit too bright. You can see the foundation a little bit better now. So you can see this gives a light medium coverage, probably more light, not even medium. It looks really good. It looks like a really great everyday light coverage foundation. We'll have to see how it settles on the skin. So I've used this concealer a couple times before, but I'm getting used to it still. I got a wonderful PR package from Jouer, which I'm so excited about because I love Jouer. It was like, ugh, I can't believe it. I asked for the Essential High Coverage Liquid Concealer. I'd heard a lot of good things about this in the past. I have mine in the shade Wheat. So this is not a first impressions. I want to say I've used this two times before. But I'm still testing it out, getting a feel for it. I like it. I don't think I love it so far. I think that it does get a little bit thick on the under eyes and can get a little bit creasy. I'm not a big fan of how it wears. But on that initial application like this, I feel like it looks really beautiful. So I'm testing it out with different products and foundations and powders just to see what works best, how it looks the best, all of that. And I feel like I want to kind of push this out onto the skin since the Armani gave me such a lightweight coverage. I want to put it right over my cheeks because I have a lot of redness in the cheeks and the nose as well. Foundation also hasn't been sitting on my skin the best recently because I swear I've been sunscreening constantly. I've been monitoring it, but for some reason, I still manage to get a little bit of sunburn, especially on my nose. There's no winning. I can't win. <laughs> that looks really nice. I didn't have a new eyebrow product, so I'm gonna pop this on really quickly, and then I'll be back to try this new brow gel from Nude Sticks. So I don't have a new brow product, so I'm gonna throw on off camera the Gucci powder eyebrow pencil, and then I'll be back. If you hear mowing going on outside, that would be my father sabotaging my YouTube career but anyways the show must go on <laughs> so I'm going to use the Nude Sticks Brow Boost Set Gel XL so this was sent to me in a PR package which I'm freaking out about and Kathleen Lights was the one that made this happen because originally this brow gel was attached to like a dual brow gel product and Kathleen Lights loved the brow gel so much that they partnered with her and launch this brow gel on its own. I've never tried it before, so I'm really excited. I want it to on camera. Oh yeah, this really does stick the eyebrow hairs up. Hey dad, what's going on out there? Okay, so I'm gonna let this set. My brows look kind of fluffy, like in a good way. I trimmed them the other day, so they're not too chaotic. They're a little bit tame, but a little fluffy. Before I set the face, I do have a couple cream products that I wanted to try. The first one is from Jaclyn Cosmetics. This is from her new summer line. This is the cream bronzer. I picked up the shade Sandy, and I've used this twice before, so I do have my thoughts on this. So here is what the packaging looks like, and this is what the color Sandy looks like. Okay, so I'm going to use the base brush from the Lotus 
set that just came out from Sonia G. I've used a sponge to apply this. I've used a brush to apply this. I feel like it works really well either way. I haven't tried it with this brush in particular. So we're gonna do this because I feel like this is perfect for getting into the outside area of the face. Now this shade, Sandy, in particular, I don't know if you can see, but it's quite red. It's more red, oh geez. <laughs> it's more red than what I normally prefer for my cream bronzers. And obviously I'm not gonna say every color is red because I have no clue. This is just the shade that I picked up. But if you don't like a cream bronzer that has a little bit of redness to this, I don't think you'll love this color. So I don't love this color. <laughs> I wish it was a bit more neutral. That's kind of normally what I prefer for cream bronzers. However, the product itself is quite nice. I think it blends into the skin very easily. It doesn't pull up any foundation. It's a good product. I just don't love the color that I chose. I'm gonna use a sponge to mush it in. So that's with the brush. I'm gonna go in actually with a little bit more on my sponge just because I love the airbrush look that a sponge gives. The product itself, it's fine. I don't think it's anything really revolutionary as far as a cream bronzer. I still prefer my Huda Tantor, my Milk Makeup cream bronzer. But it's fine. It doesn't break up anything. Looks good. And I don't have a color like this. And while it isn't a color that I'm partial to, it's nice to have this option for a more warm kind of looks. Now, I did want to play with the highlighters that came out in her collection as well. We have the liquid highlighter, which I'm normally not a liquid luminizer fan, but I can't wait till you hear my thoughts on it. And then we also have the putty highlighter. I want to talk about the liquid highlighter first. It looks like this. This is in the shade High Gleams. And I am normally not a cream highlight person, but this is really beautiful. I don't love it just because I don't love liquid luminizers in general. I hate the way they look on my cheekbones. If there was a liquid highlight that I would use, it would probably be this one. Big statement here, but I think this is my favorite liquid luminizer I've ever used. So I just put a little bit at the tops of my cheekbones. And I like to use my fingers because I feel like when I use my fingers, it doesn't move foundation as much. And this is quite glowy, <laughs> um, but it works into the skin so it's not as crazy. I did apply this over my bare skin the other day and it was really pretty. I still prefer the way it looks on top of foundation because I feel like the foundation seeps up some of the extra glowiness that I think makes it look like a little bit too much. But look at that. And then I'm gonna use my sponge again, my handy dandy sponge to press it into the skin more. Look at that. Doesn't move the foundation at all. And it has like the perfect glow. The only thing I struggle with with application is I always get too much highlighter right here and I don't like the way the texture looks emphasized there. But other than that, this is a really good liquid luminizer. I am a fan of this. Now there was another highlight formula that came out in the collection, which is the Putty Highlighter. Now I picked the shade Glazed Out and it's a bit too light for what I would normally prefer which makes it a little bit more crazy but <laughs> that's okay I knew better when I picked this color I don't know why I did but it's called glazed out it's just a normal cardboard packaging and in her original video she said she barely touched this and got so much product on and I uh, completely agree it is so creamy you barely have to touch it to get product on now something I don't like about this product I feel like there is a little bit of glitter in here. It's more so perceptible if you put it on bare skin. So if you're wearing foundation underneath, I think it will like soak some of that up just like the liquid luminizer, but it's really, really pretty. So I like to use a sponge for putty highlights. It does feel similar to a Super Shock highlight from ColourPop, but I find the best way to apply this is with a sponge. It just presses it into the skin because she said this goes over powder um, and then it's just so versatile and it won't break up the foundation. I used this once before, before I put it on bare skin on foundation and I did find it did break up like the concealer underneath here and the product underneath. So I was like, mm. I mean, it might have just been that product because it was the first time that I used that base product. Nonetheless, I want to apply it a little bit more controlled with the sponge so that way I can guarantee it won't break up the foundation and it's not. But like I said, it did break up 
a foundation that I did use underneath. But this application is the most beautiful way to apply it. I applied it with a brush before, I didn't really like it. I thought it also made it too white, it made it my face look too glittery, but the sponge gives it such a pretty glow and it makes it look seamless with the skin. I like this a lot more. I was preparing to say I didn't like this highlight, but applied in this fashion, I really, really like it. Thumbs up on the highlights. I don't think this is a need, but I like it. And the liquid highlight, I really like the liquid highlights. I definitely recommend this. So the bronzer is eh for me. It's nothing special. The putty highlight, I mean, if it looks like this when applied like this all the time, I really like it. So this is the most I've ever liked it before, but before today I wasn't super into it, but the liquid luminizer I think is bomb. Okay, I do want to apply a bit of powder and blush. This is not new, but the Shantikai Sylvie sale is coming up very, very soon. So I'm going to be featuring their products a little bit more to kind of freshen up my memory on all of them. So I'm using the Perfect Blur Finishing Powder just to get the center of my face really because we do have those cream products. I'm just gonna pop a little bit of blush on. This is not a new product at all, but it's new to me. Muse Beauty Pro was kind enough to send me a few items to add to my makeup kit and this is one of the items that I asked for. So this is the Vizzy Art face palette in the shade Rose and Coral. These shades look really vibrant and beautiful and they look like they're gonna work for a very wide range of skin tones. Taking a look at the eyeshadow palette that I'm gonna be using today. This is quite bright, but let's go more peachy. I'm feeling the peach today. So this is, by the way, the cheek brush from the Sonia G set. You see, this palette does seem to have very vibrant shades. There is another palette which seems to be a little bit more neutral, but you know, I love a nice pop in my blush, so. My goodness, how beautiful is this? And you know what, there's something special about applying highlighter first because I just love the way that the highlight seeps through underneath blush. I'm gonna put a touch of the blush on my nose because my nose is looking very white. <laughs> and then we're gonna push that into the skin. If you don't notice, the sponge is my number one tool in the world. It just makes the base look flawless. So I recently picked up the Dior Eyeshadow Quint in the shade Cruise 2022. It is available on the Dior website if you're interested. It looks really pretty, just like an everyday neutral palette. It looks prettier in person and has a little bit more depth than what I saw on the website. So let's try her out. To save time, I'm gonna do this eye first and then I'll be back to do the other eye. So yeah, I'll be back. All right, you guys, so I gotta be honest here. This is not my favorite Dior Quint. I'm starting off with the worker brush and we're gonna use this shade right here. And this is just going to be our transition shade. This palette does not contain a matte, which is fine because you can see this is working on the crease A-OK. -okay. And by the way, my under eyes are looking dry. I think it's that concealer. This is not the first time that this has happened with this concealer. But this is just gonna add very, very subtle depth. From the set, I'm taking the soft definer brush. And this is when I got a little bit disappointed. So this shade does not carry too much depth. So this palette overall, you can see I don't get depth from it. Obviously, when you look at it, you can see this palette. It's not going to give you too much depth, but I feel like comparing it to the Tom Ford formula, if a quad doesn't look like it has depth, most of the time when you actually go to apply it to the eye, the shade surprises you and it gives you more depth than it looks in the pan. With this one, I mean, it looks how it looks in the pan, but I was hoping it would be similar to a Tom Ford experience where you just get a little bit more from it than you expect and when you swatch it. But no, I mean, it's a pretty shade, but I do feel like I see myself having to go into a different palette to get a little bit more depth to my eye. Now, if you like the all over light eye, then this would be fine. There's a time and a place for that. I'm not against that either. I just was hoping to get a little bit more from this shade. Now, the best shade in this palette, in my opinion, is this copper shade, which actually probably has the most depth and pigmentation out of all. So this is gonna just completely take over the look. It's really, really pretty. I'm just applying it to basically the center of my lid and kind of pushing it out everywhere else. We're gonna take the worker brush, kind of 
blend it to make it look more seamless. Since this color actually does provide more depth, we're gonna take advantage of that and spread it out. I'm taking on a refer number three brush and we're just gonna use that because it really does pop. So I feel like this color could be a bit out of place just because it doesn't go super well with the rest because it stands out so much, but it's a great quality shadow. Sonia G Builder Brush, we're gonna take this soft gold shade Put it in the inner third of the lid just to brighten up the look. I do feel like if we take the center shade out of the equation, you can get a nice everyday soft gold kind of look. But I did want to show you how much intensity that copper shade packed. And I'm wiping off my brush, going back in with the refer number three brush. We're putting this pop shade right here, which is really pretty. So overall, this palette has really soft shimmers to it. It's just not the most unique pa palette in my opinion. I think Dior has some better color stories. Now, what I will say is the quality is pretty nice. It's on par with this new Quint reformulation. It's great formulation. It's just not my favorite color story here, but it works. It's pretty. I mean, at the end of the day, it created a pretty soft look. And if these colors are something that you'll gravitate for it, I think you will really like it. Side note, the brow gel has dried down and I like it. It's not too crunchy, but it definitely has added a cast over each brow. All right, you guys want to hear something insane that I am so incredibly grateful for? Natasha Denona's team sent over their macro blade liquid eyeliner for me to try and I got to be a part of their campaign and create a video using the new eyeliner so definitely check it out I've only used this once so we're gonna use it again today let's shake it up now from the one time that I used it I do have my thoughts though so let me bring my mirror closer it's gonna get in screen here so the very first time I use it it is quite liquidy so make sure you use a light hand and are very careful I hope that it dries down a little bit or that the formulation becomes a little bit more gel like because it was a bit messy that first time that I tried it but I'm gonna continue to use it because it's really really black which I like so the packaging of it looks like this and I got asked is it a brush tip or a felt tip well here's what the tip looks like people are saying it was a brush tip but it's definitely a felt tip so felt tip and it's the perfect length it's not too long it's not too short and now knowing what I know about the formulation I'm not going to press down too hard because I find that's when the formulation gets a little bit harder to work with one thing that does worry me about the formulation of this is I do think it's a bit watery. So I can see a little bit of swimming happening up very, very fine lines of my eyelid. And keep in mind, I am 25. So if I see that swimming happening, that really means it's quite a liquidy formulation now. I don't know how this wing became like this. This is what I mean by so much product comes out. But you see, it's really, really black. It looks awesome. Yeah, the, I'm hoping the formulation will thicken up a little bit because it's not the easiest to control. For example, I also did just try that Tom Ford double-sided liquid eyeliner and I found that very, very easy to work with this eyeliner I don't feel that way with it's not super easy to work with but oh my gosh once it's on it looks so good all right let me do this eye in silence not the best wing I've done in my lifetime but actually I kind of like it anyways yeah this new eyeliner I prefer the Tom Ford it's very very black which I really like and if you like a felt tip look into it but I do think the formulation is a bit watery making it a little bit more difficult to work with but I do find with some eyeliners that that can change over time it can become easier to use as it dries out honestly I feel like I'm gonna leave this open for like 15 to 20 minutes to see if I can get that to happen but I just I love how black it is so so anyways, I'm going to do some mascara and falsies and we're going to finish off with the lips. So here is how the eyes look with lashes. Always a big game changer. I did apply a little bit of the e.l.f. Retro Paradise lip liner around the edges of my lips just for some extra definition. You can get this look using any type of cream bronzer or any brown lipstick. So on top, I'm going to use this Chantecaille Lip Tint Hydrating Balm in Beach Rose. This came out with their summer collection and it's really a beautiful peachy color. Not sure how well it's gonna go with this look, but I just feel like trying this formula out. Oh yeah, this is like a tinted lip balm. Mm, and that's really pretty too. This shade 
is beautiful. I am gonna put a little bit of the Jaclyn Cosmetics Lip Oil on top. I got the shade Crystal Drip, which is the clear lip oil. The consistency of it reminds me a lot of the Dior lip oils. So if you like the Dior, I think you'll like this. It's not sticky at all. It does have a thicker consistency. It does feel really great. I really like the clear one because I just apply it all over my lips if I'm not wearing any makeup. It does hydrate and add a little bit of gloss. So I do like her lip oils. Again, I don't think, you know, they're anything extraordinary, but they do remind me a lot of the Dior lip oils, which are phenomenal. So these follow close behind. So I do think you will like these. Taking a step back here is what the final look looks like it's a pretty nice everyday look so taking a quick overlook at all of the products so far i do like the armani neo nude foundation i do think i'm gonna use this more so for natural everyday looks not like a glam look like this but it does look really pretty on my skin and you can see my skin underneath which is really nice but i definitely was wanting something more full coverage for this look not a huge fan of the jouet concealer i just feel like it's a bit thick on my under eyes the jacqueline cosmetics products bronzer is okay this putty highlight for the first time today i really 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 liked it but i didn't think that way previously so i think it had a bit of a learning curve of my favorite way to apply it but with the sponge awesome the liquid highlighter is probably my favorite liquid highlighter that i've ever used so <laughs> i don't love it just because i don't love liquid highlighters but this is really really nice the Vizzy art blush palette while i've only used one shade it's really pretty the colors in this are a bit bright but i mean i love the way that my cheeks look right now the nude sticks brow gel is really holding my brows in place so so far i'm really liking this i like the way that the brush brushed out my eyebrows as well so this is really nice i love the quality of this dior cruise eyeshadow palette and i think if you like the colors look into it but i would direct you to trying different colors just because this isn't my favorite color story but i mean it's a nice everyday palette kind of in the middle for me natasha denona liquid liner unfortunately it's a little bit too watery for my preferences when it's all said and done it looks really good but it definitely takes a little bit of extra work and time for me to get it the way that i like it the chantikai hydrating lip balm i'm a big fan i have two other colors to try these are great for every day great for summer these tinted lip balms are very very popular and i'm not a huge fan of them but i really do love this formula i think it's really nice and then finally the jacqueline cosmetics lip oil is also a very very nice and by the way on the side you guys know i've been using this sonia g lotus set which i'm really excited about i spent lots of moolah on it and i'm really really liking the shapes that are in here but that is all i have for today's video i hope you guys enjoyed it again thank you to lily silk for sponsoring a portion of today's video remember to use my code morgan15 if you are interested in picking anything up and that is all i have for today's video if you aren't subscribed to my channel already i would love it if you would consider taking the time to do so and i will see you all in the next one. Bye guys, have a good one.